नमस्कार गुड मर्निंग नेपाल में यहाँ लाई स्वागत है आज सोमवार के चाल खबर तो पार को सोमवार हो भावता को शुरुआत भाई रहे कुछ है कॉफी खादे उन्होंने लाये चिया खादे उन्होंने लाये रो अब आज ऐसो जानु परे ऑफिस बने जो मर को पन गौर दे उन्होंने लाये धन्ना नमन उस तपाईं सम मचू रे एक इच्छा no minute jada hari. Ra aaja tabar lai yada kura ramayali kura bandhi halu ki ek damai mahto purna din pari chha tar tiyonda aadi weather ke chha tabar lai lagi raat chha bane aaja desh bhari jun sombar hun parne mausam tishta chha. Ramayali chha. Ghamayali chha ra ananda auni ek dam ghaam taap na lai tabar lai majja auni din chha. Biyana ko taap ram desh bhari halka chiso ba chha paadi baag maali badi chiso bane tarai maali kam chiso kashma ko taap ram ahi biyana छह बजे को तापक्रम सात डिग्री सेल्सियस थियो, वहीं आज दिन सो उन्नाइस देखिए बीस को हरारी में रोने था। अगर ये बंदे थे आज मौत उम्र दिन था, मौत उम्र दिन क्ये बंदा कह रहे आज बीस वो एंटी कोरप्शन डे, भ्रष्टाचार विरुद्ध को दिवस जो एकदम मौत उम्र ने सा नेपाल को कुरागरने पर नहीं होता, � आज विभिन्न कार्यक्रम रूप में आई देश देश भरी नहीं रहा हमी आम नागरिक ने पनी यो बिशाल है मौतों पर निर्णय पारित हो किन्हें बने प्रस्ताचार व्यापक छायु देश में तीस को लाई छुट्टे कार्यक्रम छुट्टे दिन छुट्टे गेस छुट्टे टॉपिक आमी कुरा गवर्नमेंट छोऊं रहा त्यों बंदा आगे अल्तबार लाई तो वाली एरिया में पच्चीस तालिका आंसर हमें पैंतालीस सोलन में छों तालिका सोलन को तो रा ओवरऑल में अपने हमें दूसरा स्थान स्थान में छों हमें आशा करूं जो मेंटेन होने चाहिए रा आज बॉली फुटबॉल पे इंसा फाइनल सा बुटान सा तो बनी सुपर कावन ऑयलिंग दी बॉली फेयर दिमाग आए मेरु रा जोस नेपाली टोले एक इसी में ले आने चाहो वहाँ का परिचय जानी वहाँ का नाम दीपक मेनन हो वहाँ टोस्ट मास्टर इंटरनेशनल का इंटरनेशनल प्रेसिडेंट में जिस साउंड द मैथिल तो आपको वहाँ टॉप लेवल को नुन्चा रा प्रेसिडेंट नुन्चा इंटरनेशनल टोस्ट मास्टर को क्लब को रा वहाँ आज आनुन्चा वहाँ किना आनुबो कसरे आनुबो आमी आज का कार्यक्रम इन्हें थे आज रोमन रोमन कार्यक्रम रचन तो पहले देखिए अल्लू आज कई नया कार्यक्रम तो पहले देख लूँ जो जस्ते फिल्म टॉनिक सा साढ़े छह बजे वाली नौ बजे कॉमेडी चैम्पियन एकदम पॉपुलर शो था यहाँ तो नौ बजे चला अब आज का मुख्य टॉपिक हम लोग गेस्ट आए सुनवा चाहा टोस्टमास्� why are you here? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's the nicest of ways, but why are you here? <laughs> I'm here at the invitation of the local Toastmasters right. in Nepal. Right. Uh, Nepal has a tremendous potential as far as Toastmasters is concerned. Right. And they wanted me to come and motivate and inspire the Toastmasters of Nepal. Okay, so this brings me to the obvious question. Now, we have heard about Toastmasters, like right now in, uh, in Nepal, not only worldwide, but especially in Nepal, everyone talks about Toastmasters. It's like a big thing. So what is Toastmasters? What does it do? Is it a club? Is it a company? Is it an NGO? What is it? Well, Toastmasters is a not-for-profit organization. It's a corporation which is set up 
in California and the United States of America. Okay. And now, of course, it's uh, all over the world in 143 countries. What it does is it transforms people. It changes them from what they are to help them achieve their true potential okay. through the program that we have, which enables them to gain self-confidence, become more effective communicators, become leaders, and gain many life skills that can change them completely. But so we keep on hearing like, you know, there's a lot of speaking involved, you know, but is it, is it all about speaking? I mean, from a lay person point of view, it feels like uh, people say, well, Toastmaster means all about speaking, you know, different projects, just speak, speak. Is that, is that what Toastmasters is or is there more to it? Most people join Toastmasters because they lack confidence in being able to face an audience. Okay. That's how they first come to Toastmasters. Okay. When they come in, they gain that confidence through the environment that's offered in a club because it's very supportive, very encouraging. And they so are able to stand up and speak and express themselves. And when they're able to express themselves, they start gaining the other competencies and skills that Toastmasters offers. Okay. So it's not just public speaking. Okay. It's a variety of other skills that they gain through Toastmasters. Okay. So who is Toastmasters targeted towards? Like, is it for a certain age group or is this for a certain, let's say, a corporate sector? Or is it for overall, who, do, who is recommended to join Toastmasters? Everybody. Everybody. Except those who are under 18 years of age. Okay. It's for all people who are 18 years and above. Right. Everybody can gain through Toastmasters, whether you're already a little more experienced than others, uh, whether you're starting off in your career, whether right. you're still a student. Right. Everybody can gain through Toastmasters. These days, there are a lot of youth who are joining Toastmasters, okay. and that's because they want to become global citizens. Okay. Now, you are the president of Toastmasters. I'm the highest position. Sure. Over your tenure, over your, well, over your Toastmasters career, let's say journey, I wouldn't say career, journey, how have you found Toastmasters change from when you joined in to today's context globally? When I joined, and that was about 17 years ago, Toastmasters was concentrated in North America. We had more than 75% of our Toastmasters membership in North America. Mm. Today, that's changed. Now, 50% of our membership is outside North America. Wow. And therefore, the growth that we're seeing and experiencing in this part of the world is amazing. Uh, and um, what about Nepal? In terms of Nepal, uh, I know a some, some couple of our guests have, who have been on our show, have been Toastmasters also, for example, Ranjit Acharya, Suman Sakya, Mahesh Mahato, and, and others, uh, Pankaj Pradhananga. So in Nepal, how do you see the Toastmaster journey progressing? How do you see the development? Is it a satisfactory level? And wh what, would, what would you like to see for Nepal? I understand that uh, in Nepal, Toastmasters began in 1991. But for a number of years, it did not expand, it did not grow beyond a couple of clubs. It's only in the last two years that we've seen significant growth and we're just about touching the surface. Mm -hmm. There are about a 30, 30 clubs now in Nepal, a lot of them in Kathmandu itself. But the fact is that there is so much potential. Yesterday was an event uh, where we mm -hmm. had corporate leaders who came in mm -hmm. and a number of them have now Im decided to embrace Toastmasters. Okay. So the fact is, that the potential is enormous. And I see that perhaps a lot of the youth and others will take Toastmasters to heart in Nepal. So, so uh, having been associated with Toastmasters at some point myself, I just wanted to like, uh, learn from you also, and maybe our audience would also like to know, like in a, let's say a typical Toastmaster journey, how does it start and then uh, what happens during a Toastmasters session? In a very brief way, can you just explain what would people expect to do when they're now a Toastmaster in a program, a typical Toastmaster meeting? Excellent. As I said, most people come to Toastmasters because they've been told that they need to improve their self-confidence right. or be better at speaking. And so they come, they look at what Toastmasters offers in a club meeting and join. Now, once they've joined, they're usually assigned a mentor. Okay. And that mentor helps them to understand the entire spectrum of Toastmasters. Right. In a regular Toastmasters meeting, there are speaking opportunities. Mm -hmm. You have a prepared speech segment. There is an impromptu speech segment. It's called Table Topics. Right. It's right. got nothing to do by about standing on a table and speaking. <laughs> and then there is feedback, evaluations. Right. Right. And that is really the heart of Toastmasters. No other organization in the world 
provides instant immediate feedback mm -hmm. here every member who comes up plays a role speaks gets feedback on what they've done well and what they can do to improve okay. it helps build the self esteem of individuals because it's such a supportive audience right and i understand that there are role plays you know you play different roles uh, while right. you're in that what kind of roles uh, do people play while you're in that meeting well one of the roles is that of the toastmaster of the day right. and the toastmaster of the day is really the mc of the meeting right he conducts the meeting right. he organizes the meeting and learns m meeting management skills right then we have the general evaluator who leads the evaluation segment right. again a leadership uh, position right we have people who count the number of times you use fillers right that's an hour count right right and then you have somebody who times because we're very concerned about ensuring that we start on time and right. end on time of course and then there's a grammarian in the meeting who keeps track of any impromptu or incorrect use of grammar mm -hmm. and then provides feedback on on right. grammar usage right variety of other roles that go on in in every single meeting and people volunteer for these roles so you might be a grammarian one day you may be the toastmaster of the meeting the next meeting and then the following meeting you may be doing a speech and so you get all round development through the meeting so how do you, uh, i see that toastmaster has a lot of positive there's a lot of positive vibes to toastmaster because it teaches people obviously how do you um, tell people someone to improve better i mean they, i'm not, i'm sure everyone is not good at to begin with are there mechanisms in place in toastmaster where you positively help the person absolutely through the feedback okay the evaluations okay evaluations are always very supportive very positive mm. uh, you know you go to a corporate today right. or any corporate or right. any organization and uh, feedback is usually negative right. it's criticism right. Right. nobody is appreciated but when they're not doing what they're mm. supposed to do then there is criticism okay and it uh, actually demoralizes people in toastmasters to the contrary we help build up the self esteem of people by providing them positive uh, and feedback that is reinforcing good habits okay so it helps them to to understand what they can do to improve and how can they improve right. but at the same time we emphasize what they're doing well okay just that feels like like uh, when we look at, i mean when we understand toastmaster a bit better it's almost like a life lesson what you learn in the meetings and you try in a journey as a toastmaster is a bit of a life lesson also in fact a lot of life lessons are in a be keeping in time speaking clearly learn to understand each other that this is something the youth could benefit from a country like nepal where in a lot of times you don't get a positive feedback and you don't you don't get taught very well our education system is a bit you know weird in that way if i may say so how does toastmaster um, uh, look into the youth and uh, and also making them better persons in the country sure absolutely uh, the fact is that our education system is geared to providing technical skills right it's not geared to providing soft skills right and toastmasters provides that opportunity to convert what you've learned in your school college or university the technical abilities that you have mm -hmm. uh, what to say mm -hmm. now you have the ability of how to say it right how to be able to present yourself better right. Right. how to ensure that what you know you are able to communicate more effectively and therefore it is very important for all the youth to come to toastmasters and join toastmasters okay um so basically the way we understand is like it's always been looked upon as like as been a corporate uh, um, kind of uh, toastmaster people say corporate corporate but then it looks like there's a very good opportunity for the schools colleges also be involved in this are you aware of any colleges in nepal that are actually trying the toastmaster in their within their uh, you know education system yeah there is uh, kcm, KCM. Which oh, okay has toastmasters in its time has toastmasters there's kusom that has toastmasters there's okay. uh, recently um, the ku kathmandu university kathmandu okay. university that started toastmasters uh, wow. yeah, and so the whole lot of institutions are now interested in f having toastmasters as part of the curriculum that they offer to the students so that besides their uh, technical skill development they are also looking at skills that they can use as they get employed or are em become more employable okay. by the corporates that are looking out for such youth okay uh, so when uh, as i understand mm -hmm. toastmasters are different you know there are different toastmasters around the country around the globe obviously but for nepal i'm bring it back to nepal the different toastmaster groups yeah. i would say clubs how 
do they go about starting a Toastmaster Club? Do they have to have an initial, do you inject some money or is it like self-motivated, self-funded? How does a typical Toastmaster Club start? So Toastmasters is self-funded. Okay. And you need to have about a group of 20 people okay. to start a Toastmasters Club. Right. And when you are keen to start a club, you approach the senior leaders of the movement in that country who help you in understanding the ropes, right. provide you some orientation, do a demonstration meeting, and then provide you mentoring support, handhold you for a period of six months to one year after the group is formed. Okay. So therefore, there is a lot of help and support that comes from senior Toastmasters in that region. Okay. Um, you know, you were at a program yesterday, which I was uh, happy to attend also. It was a privilege. In your program, you mentioned it's personal development also. Toastmaster is not just about corporate, not just about colleges, but it's also as a person. Sure. You become a better person mm -hmm. by joining the Toastmaster, I would say a movement or a club. In what way do you think uh, a person can improve themselves as a result of being joined Toastmaster? And you mentioned your own experience. So let's start with overall and let's talk about what, how, you got also, how you got helped also by Toastmaster. How it changes you completely is because you become a more empathetic person. Mm. You gain listening skills. Communication is not about speaking alone. Right. It's right. about listening. Right. And, and the fact is that you learn to be able to communicate better interpersonally as well. You learn conflict management skills. You learn time management. You learn so many mm. life skills which are clearly very important in today's world. Right. As far as I'm concerned, I'm a chartered accountant by profession. Okay. I have uh, a partnership firm that I'm a partner in in New Delhi, India. And uh, I, before jo joining Toastmasters 17 years ago, uh, used to be very short-tempered mm -hmm. and I would fly off the handle <laughs> <laughs> at the least of uh, any kind of issues that may have uh, occurred. But Toastmasters completely transformed me. Once mm -hmm. I joined Toastmasters, I understood mm -hmm how it was important that I needed to be empathetic mm. and, I, and I changed the way that I behaved with my staff. I become a better manager, a better leader mm. in my organization. Mm -hmm. And that's all due to Toastmasters. And I would say I'm a better husband ah. because of Toastmasters. Absolutely. My wife might not agree though. <laughs> ah, well, they'll be watching it, I'm sure. So if you're watching, here he is. <laughs> so, um, so, uh, a question that keeps recurring uh, uh, from you know different people. I know there was a question yesterday also in the program. Some people are naturally very easily sp spoken. They are very relaxed. They can speak very easily. While others are not so easy. They, they find it much harder to talk. Mm -hmm. Is it that Toastmaster makes uh, like for example everyone who can speak a good speaker, or is there another quality of theirs, the in 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 inner quality of theirs that Toastmaster brings out? Absolutely. You know, every person is different. You don't have two people absolutely alike. They're not two peas in the same pod. The fact is that uh, every single person has the ability of growing and improving through Toastmasters. Right. We don't compare two people when they join Toastmasters. We don't compare them for their skills. We compare a person with himself or herself after a few months that they've been through Toastmasters. Okay. And as a result, Okay. You are basically improving the way you can. So you may right. start with more experience, more speaking skills, or with less speaking skills. Okay. It doesn't make any difference. Okay. So now this one question is, uh, I, 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 we need to ask you, like, you know, we know English is a global language. Toastmaster is inherently, I mean, it started from North America, and it's based on English as a base language. But we also know that different countries now, there's different languages being adopted by Toastmasters. How feasible is it to have Toastmasters in different language other than English? It's extremely feasible. Okay. We have, as you very rightly said, so, uh, agreed to support and are supporting various other languages uh, in Toastmasters. And that includes Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, uh, uh, and even Tamil. Okay. The fact is that uh, if there is a need, we're willing to fulfill it. We're willing to provide the support in that particular language. But it, uh, is r it remains to be said, the fact is that uh, English is the global business language. Right. That's the language that right. the world revolves right. around, right. Uh, fortunately or <laughs> unfortunately. Right. Right. Uh, and therefore, uh, a lot of the people demand that they have access 
to a good English education and learning and development. Right. And that's why Toastmasters in English Absolutely. is the most popular around the world. Right. Uh, fair enough. So supposing someone of our audience here wishes to join Toastmasters in Nepal. Uh, I'm talking in a Nepali context because you're here. What, what are the things they should think about and who should they contact? Or which, uh, are, are there any particular websites or any particular person they should contact? Sure. So they can get to the Toastmasters International website. Okay. That's uh, www.toastmasters.org. They can go on to the Find a Club segment in that and look for clubs in Nepal and okay. look for clubs around them. All of the clubs are listed there, okay. right? Uh, including the day of the uh, week they meet, the time of the day that they meet, the location where they meet. All of that information is available. And okay. once they've been able to uh, identify the club that they would like to join, right. they can go onto the website, they can actually contact the uh, people concerned okay. over phone, or go and meet them. Attend a meeting, yeah. you will not regret it. Oh, absolutely. So there are people to contact, and are, the website, will website has all the information, including that for Nepal. That's right. What about uh, uh, money? Uh, does it have to be like, uh, uh, individually has to pay, or uh, maybe if they represent a company, does it pay, or how does it work, uh, in terms of finances? Sure. Uh, so the fact is that uh, the finances are to be s uh, actually borne by the self, right. by that person who right. joins, right. especially in the case of a community club. Right. But the corporate clubs have a different setup, right. where sometimes the companies that have sponsored Toastmasters within their organization, pay for their employees. Though I would rather that they don't because you need to be able to invest in yourself. Right. You know, finally, you yourself have to volunteer to your self-development and, right. and personal de personality development. Right. So if you're not interested and if you've no, got no stake in your own growth, then you will perhaps not be that interested. Absolutely. So, so uh, Toastmaster, oh, I, in fact, DTM, uh, Deepak, so, Thank you for coming to our show. We have come to the end of the show. I mean, it's amazing how we go for, you know, through our show and it fa finishes faster than we think. Absolutely. You have been a wonderful guest, wonderful speaker, as expected, and a communicator. And thank you for coming to our show. And uh, we wish you all the best for your rest of the journey in Nepal, also stay in Nepal and the rest of your Toastmaster journey. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here on the show. And thank you for coming despite your sore throat. <laughs> so, Edi, one day, as an international president, Toastmaster International ka president, Deepak Menon, I'm the Kurani Mogapai, the Rikura Stigli Mogapai, Riyadi Ben K. Stigli Mogapai, and the Mills of the Joint Gonos, and the Onubavo experience of Moya Afalika and Ali Malayan Tatso. Edi, one day, as a good character, Ye Rokne, Tabarko, Onumati site, Mobida Unsu, Bolivana Ferry, Art Baji, Good Morning Nepal, Tabako TV screen, Aun in Nicha. Yeah, good in Subaros. Have a great day. Bye bye. Namaskar. Namaskar. Hamro Karikram Heri Dinu Bhaiko Ramon Parai Dinu Bhaiko Ma Dheri Dheri Dhanne Baad. Hami like Kantipur Television app download kar apni yahan leher na sakno hone sa. Tapai like Ramon Pari Pani Ramon Na Pari Pani. Prati Kriya apni zoro dinu hala to comment section ma. Ra YouTube ma hami like subscribe karnos. Ra bell icon thi chera hamro Karikram ko baare ma regular notification pani paun sakno hone sa. Thank you for watching. Good morning Nepal.